Hi everyone, I'm back. Ooh, drinking some hot tea. Apparently I have another video left in me today. So um <laughs> yeah, let's get this one out. Um I don't know, today was like a really kind of clear day, um insight wise. But uh for in my apparent process, um my awakening journey seems gradual, whereas some people it's it's different, it appears just in a different characters like Eckhart and Byron's had their split um instantly uh mine's is more gradual it feels like it feels like every day over the past year like I've kind of always it seems like the character that comes to this um has a pattern of this in their life right like if they had some kind of insight in childhood or um they're conditioned to be like spiritual seekers and, and all of this stuff or into psychology and stuff. So that's kind of how it played out for me throughout my, my, um, journey. But, um, over the past year, the whole spiritual awakening effect started really happening to me where I really started to feel like, Oh, something is going on. Something is going on here. <laughs> like, so, you know, it's, it's more than lo like my logical psychology understanding of things. It, I was watching things just happen like miraculously and I was like okay so point is and now and then it went into non-duality where it's really very simple um but yeah even af now after that how can I say this everything seems very I said it in my last video um every little thing that kind of comes up seems um it's like a major per perception shift like a constant gradual perception shift all the time so um and i love i love the fact that it takes away the ability to want to know anything or need to know like this is so freaking freeing and this is our birthright to be free um but it just takes away even when like for everything working working out eating like every little problem suffering pain it takes away the uh i want to say it's more than just it takes away the resistance to it i just had it in my mind it slipped that quickly it'll come back if it, if it's important <laughs> if it's relevant enough but um i say all this to say today was a really clear day because it uh just becoming more and more clear that because that's even with me saying all of this i still have um moments of anxiety and tension and like fear of like like am i doing something wrong am i you know oh is this gonna have a bad outcome or something like that like something in time i still have that in my body um but something about today was very much so and that's why I say you, you you can't do anything about it. This is what it is. As long as you think, so for me, for example, as long as I think that um, I need to change what I'm thinking, then I will suffer. You like so. For example, like if I'm um, I, the main thing that comes up is like. I should be sleeping right now or I should call this person like I should call this person um, and then I'm not sleeping or I'm not calling the person <laughs> so I it doesn't come up rapidly like I'm you know pretty far along in this process but the I feel a little bit of questioning anxiety in there and um, as long as today I realize as long as I feel that about anything there will be anxiety or suffering for the person because that is not what is happening. As long as you think something else other than what is happening should be happening, you will suffer. It's just that simple. <laughs> That's it. That's why it's, that is the freedom of life. That means that whatever you are doing, it, you are free to do. Like, you can't do it wrong. Of course, we know there is no you, but like, as long as you think there is a you or I think there is a me, that can change um that can make change 
And it sounds so crazy saying this, but for real, like as long as you think that you can do something different than, than what is happening, suffering will happen. And this is all just a like a uh just spinning around of the same words. But um I don't know, I feel like there's more uh there's more conviction when you when you actually experience things for yourself. So I try and make videos when I have the um or it appears that this happens. <laughs> um videos appear or seem to wanna come out of me when um I have my own little uh insights and experiences. So yeah. I am um, going to Arizona with my friends, my um, long-term 20-year friendship now. Um, this weekend, today is Wednesday, uh, I think Friday, yeah. No, today's Tuesday, Lord. See, I don't even, time is, what is that? <laughs> but Friday, we're going to Arizona. And I say that to say I haven't seen them in um, like a year or two, but it's been a long-distance friendship, which seems to really work for my character. I don't do well with intimate close relationships right now at all. I don't even have any, to be honest. Like all my relationships are long distance and it appears that my conditioning needs that right now. So that's what I mean too. Like the conditioning um, is doing what it does for whatever reasons. And life will, life appears to connect to whatever is already playing out with yourself. That's why we look back and we go, oh, that's why I did that. Even if it was horrible, you see, we look back and be like, oh, that was the purpose of that? Duh. <laughs> Duh. Yes. We just worry because we, you know, whatever, something that we created in our minds. But um, you notice every time you look back, it, or it connects. Some, even the craziest thing, like the craziest thought, when you look back at your life, some the, the dots connected. Because it appear, life has that intelligence that it does that in whatever way that it does for whatever reason it does, and we don't need to care or know about it. <laughs> so, um, back to the friend trip. Point is, I have a long distance friendship, and this will be our first time meeting up like in person since I've had like really this kind of shift or whatever. And um, they know they know what's been going on with me. One of the friends in the group, she's kind of been going through the same thing. So it'll be nice to have somebody on some common ground with it, but. Um, even that, even even the thought of coming in, that's changing for me. Before, like this this year, it was like, oh, I can't really send any texts, I can't really speak, I can't really think, I can't really do anything. And now it's just like, every day is, is kind of integrating more and more. So even showing up in this friend group, um, you know, I'm still Kelly. Like, the Kelly will still do what the Kelly does, but there is a, there is a sense of freedom. There's a sense of like, Oh, I don't know. Whereas before I had a real sense of kind of arrogance of like, oh, I know. <laughs> so I'm interested to see um, the outcome of like, you know, how, how um, I play out over this friend weekend. But from my current experience right now, all this is, all this is doing is just allowing you to be wherever, whenever and be okay at all times. I think Byron Katie said that. Yeah, I know I love her. Um, and she is me. <laughs> we are all each other. But um, yeah, she says your work is not done until you can be anywhere, any place at any time and be fine. It will not be resistant to what is happening. So, yeah. We're almost 10 minutes in this video. Okay. Okay. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Maybe. <laughs> okay, good night.